the play, there is a character named She, and she auditions. She hasn't, she hasn't auditioned for a long, long time. She comes in to read for a role. She gets cast. Turns out she's cast opposite her ex, a very, very meaningful ex, somebody that she had a very profound relationship and a hard ending. Um, and they're playing lovers, and they have to kiss constantly. And the chemical act, the real act of kissing, just, it's like it opens their bodies and their souls and their spirits back up to each other, and they tumble back into each other. She's really writing in many, many ways, I think, about marriage as a, as a beautiful and repetitious, delicate, constant, growth process and that we as a culture are sort of you know bred on this idea of romance as this like huge sweeping wild intoxication it's actually a sort of a fantasy of life rather than a truth so i think she's writing about this woman who gets lost in the fantasy she has this glorious capacity to merge the kind of like mundane quotidian with the totally spiritual surreal like epic questions and that feels so natural to me as a place to live in the theater she, uh, she also just teaches me so much i mean her her plays are so extraordinary to get to work on sarah rule is there with me every day and really has been an enormous part of this has been my teammate she's like my partner and that that's a great joy of working on a new play and I and I, I do see the job of directing a new play as being about re understanding what the playwright's vision is and releasing that vision so I was oddly enough cast in a play and I had this huge part, and in it I had to fall madly in love and make out with this man and then die and sob. It was all very dramatic for me. My leading man was extremely generous and loving with me as an actor, and we made out, and I was totally falling. I mean, I completely was insanely in love with him. And I thought he had to be in love with me too because he was kissing me with such passion. I mean, how could he possibly kiss me with such passion if it wasn't real? Alas and alack, it turned out my advances were thwarted and he was being a professional actor, you know, enacting a stage kiss. I was living the kiss. One day in the middle of the run, he suddenly, for personal reasons, had to leave the show. And I was devs like a, like a lover who bereft that their, you know, their great love had left them. They replaced the guy with this very sweet man. And I do remember on that one night, I remember actually weeping into his mouth. I <laughs> actually literally wept into his mouth. That was the end of my acting career. Needless to say, it became very clear that I should not be an actress immediately after.